So let's start off talking about our solar array. This is where the power comes in, obviously. So what these are, these are Kyocera 130 watt 12 volt panels. You can see that we have basically what we call two strings. Two strings of five panels. Obviously 10 total panels, 1300 watts is what this system would be rated at. Each panel in this row is wired in series so that the voltage adds up. So that basically means that 12 times 5 is 60 volts so that this, this series would have a nominal voltage of 60 volts. The other series, this one, also has 60 volts. So we're wiring this string in series to add up to 60 volts, this string in series to add up to 60 volts, and then we wire the two strings in parallel so that we still have a 60 volt system. And I'll show you how this works inside. If you don't follow that, review the chapter on series and parallel wiring. But this is how most panels are wired. You wire them, with, you've probably heard it called daisy chaining. You wire them in series to add the voltage. Now, we can do that because we have a special charge controller. In cases where you would just have a 24 volt charge controller, you would only be able to put two, two panels in series. Or you could put this whole string in parallel with itself and then put it in series with that other string. It's a little complicated, but review the series and parallel wiring discussion. Uh, also, you'll see that we used uh, manufactured panels. A lot of people watching this video are probably wondering about homemade panels, and I know a lot of people that have done that, uh, but we decided to go with manufactured panels because of our brutal winters, and because we live at high altitude, we have really intense sunshine, and homemade panels would probably break down uh, in a lot less time than manufactured panels, so that's why we went with these. Um, you can see we have a tilt array here. Uh, I'll show you the racking here in a minute, but if you notice this angle, it's right at 45 degrees. You want this angle to be right around your latitude. So we're in northern Colorado here, right about 40 degrees, I think it's 42 degrees latitude, so 45 is right there. It's really good. If you're down south in Florida or something, you'd be probably be closer to 32 degrees latitude. If you're up in Canada, it's going to be more like 50. You can look on a map, obviously, and get your latitude, but you want the angle from horizontal to be your latitude, to be equal to your latitude. This, this array will tilt. It'll come down about like this, which is good in the winter, but we generally don't do that. Um, we should, but it's just something we just don't generally do. Uh, next up, let's go back behind the panels, and I'll show you how we wired them.